The arrival of Twaivi lawyers came as no surprise to Mr. Nama, who was expecting their presence. They served the contempt of court charges to Mr. Nama as required under the law. And we are here to serve uh, this court document on you. Sure. Uh, it is, uh, because it is a contempt uh, proceeding, uh, we are required by law, as you will know, to serve uh, you in person. Mr. Nama humbly accepted the court documents. The contempt of court proceedings was in relation to Mr. Nama and the Alliance team statement calling on the Prime Minister and the Police Commissioner to resign. From what I understand, the uh, contempt arises from uh, the press conference that the Alliance team held on the, uh, on the 16th of August uh, when we called upon the, uh, the Police Commissioner and the Prime Minister to resign. Mr. Nama received the charges as the principal complainant on the warrant of arrest on the Prime Minister. He told reporters his statement was for the good of the country and not to disrepute very high and important public officers. He says this was not the first time he was served with a similar court document, citing it as delayed tactics used by the Prime Minister to deviate from the main issue. I'm happy to uh, face this challenge. I see this challenge as Peter O'Neill's tactics of trying to sway away from the real issue of the arrest warrant that he is facing. Mr. Nama says no one is above the law and he will not be subdued by the contempt charges to continue fight for the interest of the country. Papua New Guinea, I want to assure you that these kind of little things will not stop me from fighting against corruption in this country. These things will not suppress me or intimidate me in any way at all. Mark Hayok, NBC National News, Port Mosby.